Hi, Logan Jr. Chef here, and I am making my meatloaf quesadilla. So the first thing in the meatloaf quesadilla is the meatloaf. So I have my uh, ground beef here, and I'm gonna add in my wasabi powder. Now the wasabi powder just gives it a little bit of zing, onions. I'm not a big fan of onions, but they're really necessary. Worcestershire sauce, and some mustard, ketchup, then I have pepper, because I like mine a little peppery. I'm gonna add in my thyme. I can make thyme jokes all day long, but that would take way too much time. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add in my breadcrumbs, egg, red pepper. We're gonna mix that up. Now, you can do it with your hands or a spatula. Try to make sure that all the ingredients get really incorporated together. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my hands. Now, as a chef, you cannot be afraid to get messy. It may feel a little weird with the cold and raw meat, but it's definitely a lot better than the warm raw meat. Right now, I'm just forming my meatloaf together. Now, you can make it into a loaf, you can do it in a loaf pan. You can do like a giant meatball. That's how my mom does it, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more loaf-like today. I got it how I want it to look, and I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Oh wow, it looks so juicy, it's just perfectly done. It's time to assemble quesadilla. Just gonna take like a slice of our meatloaf, take another slice. It's time for the cheese. Don't skimp out on the cheese. If there's one thing that I hate whenever I have a cheese quesadilla, or any quesadilla really, is when people skimp on the cheese. It just makes everything bad. I'm gonna add in my peppers. I'm gonna add in my top quesadilla. Our quesadilla is done. I really can't wait to eat this, so it's time to cut it up. Oh, you can hear that great crunch. Oh wow, look at this perfect quesadilla. It's all cheesy and meatloafy. I also made this awesome dipping sauce. It's got ketchup and mustard and mayo and some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of cayenne for that little bit of heat. There you have it. This is a great way to just spice up any leftover meatloaf you might have. I'll see you on the flip side.